So, a really important tip is to create separate angles by separating a tiny bit. Look at how this trio is positioned. They're in a triangle position, and right here there is no one on Mr. Savage but guys on both of his teammates. So you can support them very easily, getting so much damage off on them. Now at this point, Mr. Savage starts getting rushed. That is when both of his teammates start helping him out. This guy now has to hold two walls, one behind him and one to the side of him while trying to fight Mr. Savage. And yeah, that ain't happening. A trick to help you out when pressuring your opponent is to have one person holding a wall and the other person breaking it at the same time. The reason this is so good is because while one guy is pressuring the wall, the other guy is holding, waiting for it to be theirs, and editing as soon as this happens. And then the guy pressuring the wall, as soon as that edit happens, shoots. This process is so quick, and it is very hard for the other person to react in time. Now, as you know, this requires a lot of chemistry to pull off. Don't worry though, I have a map you can use to practice this and build up your chemistry. All credits go to Jivan TV. Thank you for the map. Now, for this map, what you have to do is every time there is a metal wall, one person has to break the wall, and the other person has to get the wall and edit it. Then the person holding the wall has to shoot the target. And there's a bit of peace control in between. Oh! Now again, this is a really, really good map to build up your chemistry and practice the things that I just did. And I really haven't seen a map like this, so all credits go to Jivan TV. Another tip is to always stay one box away from your enemies at all times. Notice how Mr. Savage in this clip takes his opponent for much more than he has taken, but he doesn't just aimlessly walk into someone's box. Now, I know some of you would have jumped in, but if the 200 IQ man himself isn't phasing in, you know it's a bad idea. Instead, he uses his 200 IQ brain and tries to bait him. He pickaxes the wall once and then stands near the top of the ramp. Then he uses his gun to break the wall with this amazing angle and opens this wide edit. His opponents are panicking and Mr. Savage successfully does so much damage to his opponents while staying one box away and taking only 50 damage. There is so much in that clip that is so underrated. But the main thing I'll talk about is this peak right here. This peak is such an underrated one and it is one of the most safe ways to take a wall currently in the game. Now, a tip that I only see a few people doing is throwing your teammates. Obviously, in a tournament setting, once the team gets a knock, they want to get that finish so they can get the elimination point. This either leads to opponents spraying or rushing the box that they knocked you in for the loot and, most importantly, the elimination point. This is why carrying slash throwing your teammate is so good. If you carry and or throw your teammates, they don't know where you are. This is because you've completely moved from this place that you've been knocked. Right here in this clip, it's a perfect showcase of it in my opinion. He gets knocked over here, he recovers and throws it back over here where none of his opponents are and he easily gets the res off. If he tried to res erect in the place where he got knocked, I don't think it would have worked out for him.